Hi guys, excuse me. I need another pillow. God damn it. Wait a second, guys. crazy ass hair. I filmed a little too much of that voluminous hair. Hi Rob, missing laws. Oh, how are you darling? Where have you been? How you going? There you are. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was trying to find a pillow. <laughs> Hi Sharon. Hi Zoe. Oh, thank you darling. What's going on? Hi Chris. Hi, Leslie. Great lip color. Oh, thank you. Josie. Hi, guys. What's going on? What's happening in your world? Carmel. Shared the live video. Oh, thank you for sharing. Thank you, darling. Strange other night moves here. Oh. Karen is me for. Oh, hi, guys. What do I think about Reiki? Well, if you believe it works for you, darling, it'll work. So if you believe that someone going like this on the screen is putting energy towards you and it's working, it'll work. So if you've got a Reiki healer and you believe it's working, it'll bloody work because your belief in it. But if you lie there thinking, what a load of shit, it won't do anything. That's what I think about it anyway. Listen to your sleep tapes. Oh, darling, wonderful. Manifested a promotion and a big fat bonus. Oh, did you, Sharon? How'd you do that? <laughs> Dylan James' new affirmation takes is 216 affirmations. Oh, wow. I thought his um, 40 affirmations in his ridiculous other sleep tapes were bad enough, but 260. So that's going to sink in, is it, over eight hours of you sleeping? You're going to remember those. The guy claims to understand the subconscious mind and he's sticking 216 affirmations in a sleep tape and doesn't understand the process of repetition. Okay. <laughs> Good luck with that. Um, hi, my spiritual ocean. Um, um, hey, Loz. Loz, the bank is trying to make money back that showed in my account. What do I affirm? No, you say, well, it's in my bank. Finders keepers. I'm keeping it. Just take it out. Just decide that's your money, darling. Oh, don't take it out. Decide that's your money. Oh, thank you, Star Moon. Thank you, Sweet Warrior. Oh, look at these huge gifts. My God. Um, Darling, you just decide that that's your money and they it's their fault for sticking it in your bank and you get to keep it. You just decide. Of course I get to keep it. That's my money. Of course that's my money. Say that, darling. I did your inner convo with this people bed and it felt so good. Oh, good, Whitney. Yeah. Inner convos make you feel excellent because you feel like, oh, wow, they're really here. And they are there because you're not separate. So you're sending that to them every time you do it. Oh, thanks, Beth, darling. How are you? Hi, Lois. Last day my bird is on night shift and I won't see you for a week going to Paris. Oh! Oh, I love Paris. Amazing. Self-concept tips. Well, I don't do tips. Oh, my God, what's going on outside? Um, darling, the self-concept tip would be assess yourself and figure out what your personal self-concept problems are. Okay, you have to assess yourself so that you know what self-concept affirmations to say and what visualizations to have and what to change. Okay, sit for 20 minutes and write down everything you're thinking and you'll see a theme in those thoughts of your self-concept. Um, 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 um Laws, my ex is so damn obsessed with me. Oops. I don't want him, but it's nice to have proof it's working. Oh, Sarah's vampire slider, really? <laughs> it's funny when it's an ex you don't want. You're like, okay, dude, calm down. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you, sir, but I'm not interested in you. Wonderful. Laws, how do you do inner combos? Literally like you do all day in your brain having an argument with someone or talking to yourself. Oh, thanks, Cynthia. Thanks, Anika, for the crowns. I've got two at once. <laughs> Crazy. So, guys, if you're having an inner conversation with yourself, it might sound like this. Fuck, you're an idiot. God, you screw things up all the time. God damn it, Loz. Why do you always fuck everything up? You never do anything right. That's an inner conversation with yourself. So swap that and do an inner conversation with the person. Oh, baby, you always do everything right for me. You're always so sweet to me. You're always so lovely to me. Why are you so good to me? Because I love you so much, you silly bitch. Of course I love you. <laughs> I'm not going to call you a silly bitch, but you know what I mean? Like, you have a little conversation with them. Um, hi, you go. I'm going great. I woke up groggy, but T saved me. How are you? Oh, wonderful, darling. Everyone, what's this, Dylan? 
everyone. Oh, I should keep pressing something. Everyone was staring at me today walking home from work. Oh, were they, Dylan? Is that the famous dance of Dylan? Oh, my God. It's Dylan the Fail. I think I've seen him on the TikTok. <laughs> are they doing that? That's what they were doing in their mind, Dylan. Friend said to just text SP because what do I have to lose? I didn't, but I wonder what this is reflecting, that you have some idiot friends, Whitney, who don't understand how to use their mind, and they're probably reflecting your fearful thought that you have to do that. Everyone's reflecting your thinking. Were you once thinking you had to do that because this won't work? That's why. What are good affirmations to make SP my boyfriend? Of course he's my boyfriend. He loves being my boyfriend. I'm his girlfriend and he's my man. He loves being my man. He loves showing me off as his girl. I was in contact with SP, but now the contact has slowed down. Is this due to my self-concept? It's also due to your fearful thinking, darling. So it could be things like, I hope he keeps contacting me. I hope he doesn't flake. Where is he this weekend? Why haven't I heard from him? It's been two days. What, what, is he talking to someone else? What are your fearful thoughts you're having? Assess those. Thanks for all the gifts, guys. Loz, my SP texted after two months, no contact. He asked if I was on the dating site. I said, oh, no, lol. Oh, really? Wonderful. Brought the complete reader, auto, audio books by Neville. Absolutely amazing. Love you big. Oh, thank you, darling. Yeah, guys, go and listen to Neville. I think listening to Neville is way better than reading him. Actually, the audio books aren't him, but the lectures are him. But listening, like his audio, his books are so amazing. Just listen to someone else reading the book. Hi, how can I find my limiting beliefs if I have any? If you have any, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> we all have beliefs that are kind of limiting us. We don't want to say they're limiting beliefs, but you all have beliefs that are fucking your life up mostly. Okay. Unless you're like a Zen master of, I don't know, Buddhism or something and you don't, you're not attached to anything and you don't think any negative thoughts all day. Well, most of us do have beliefs that are kind of screwing a few things up for us. I don't want to say that for everyone, but that's why we're here, learning this stuff. Okay, so you sit down and you write down what you're thinking for 20 minutes. You'll see all your beliefs. It'll scare the shit out of you. So many birds will learn about my SP. I'm so happy. Oh, darling. Why is my nose running? Sorry, guys. I listened to your I'm the priority sleep tape last night, but I had a nightmare where my SP was dating a new woman. Is this normal? Does this mean his subconscious is changing? Listen, guys, I had a dream last night that I was going out with Pete Davidson. I mean, what's that mean? <laughs> oh, shit. Your dreams don't really mean anything. It's just your subconscious thought purging out old thoughts or what you saw on TikTok that day. Because clearly I've got a lot of Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian on my For You page because apparently he's in my dreams now. Okay, but I've, you've got to think, okay, this is just my old thoughts purging out, especially when you listen to those tapes. And it might try and give you nightmares to stop you listening to the tapes because it doesn't want you thinking those new thoughts. It's very normal. Every time I see you, you are more beautiful. That self-concept must be on point. Oh, thank you, darling. <laughs> Sweet of you. You know what it is? I think my original videos, my hairdresser really fucked up my hair. So when I started the, recording those videos, my hair was kind of had a brown tinge to it and she'd layered all the bottom of my hair really fucked up. So I had this kind of weird layered hairdo with brown in it. And so I look really different. This is what I normally look like. And and in the beginning videos, the first couple of like first six months, and then I went to the back to the same hairdresser and the same girl came and did my hair except instead of my hairdresser. So I got the same stupid hairdresser twice and she fucked up my hair twice. And I was like, God damn it. So I had to make this decision that I was going to get my hairdresser and only my hairdresser from now on and my hair was going to go back to normal except wavy. So now my hair's back to the same colour but wavy. So maybe that's why I look a bit different. Loz, I upset SP. He thinks I patronised. How do I reverse? Well, stop thinking you did that, darling. Stop saying you patronised him, saying he doesn't think I patronised him. What's he going on about? That never even happened. He's got rocks in his head. He's, he's, he's getting his imaginations out of control. He wouldn't think that of me. He loves me. He never criticises me. I never patronise anyone. Why would anyone say that to me? I don't do that. That's you beating yourself up and thinking you're not good enough that you do things wrong. Do you think you do things wrong a lot? Do you have critical parents who told you you were doing things wrong? Loz, I manifested getting my car fixed for free, even though they said it would cost $2,000. Oh, Amanda, Jesus, how did you do that? That's great, darling. I need help with my abandonment issues. How do I fix it? Well, darling, things like I am too important to lose, I'm too special to lose, people never leave me, or people always stay in my reality. Use affirmations like that, darling. M. Schmitz here, Loz. My SP told me I'm so obsessed with you. I've been so hard at my self-concept that I'm in love with myself. Oh, wonderful shit. All right, darling. Thank you, love. I'm always here for you. Oh, that's lovely. I got a ticket at school, lol. Sorry, just thought I'd share. What's this? What's this, Cindy? I manifest daily to find one million in my account, but never works. Why? Well, you're really not understanding what you're doing, darling. Everyone manifests daily. What do you mean? You're trying to consciously manifest a million dollars. 
Do you think this is magic or something? You think this is a magic trick? I just don't think a million dollars is in my bank and it will suddenly appear. You've got to be in the state of wealthy. You've got to be in the state of millionaire. You've got to get rid of your negative thinking. You've got to flip the old thoughts. You've got to change the self-concept. Are you doing all that or are you just thinking this is magic, darling? Go and watch my videos. You're lost as hell. What you're manifesting currently is the state of poor. Where is it? Why isn't it here? And so you're never going to get a million dollars in that state. How you manifest consciously is to change your state of being. Are you changing your state of being from broke-ass person who has to win the lottery or imagine a million dollars in their bank to a person who has a million dollars in their bank? Probably not. Finally had communication with SP after months of silence, been persisting with affirmations. Ah, oh, did you, darling? Congratulations. Pete got Kate Beckinsale too. Oh, he got all the girls. Kate Beckinsale... Um, Ariana Grande, Kim, who else? I mean, he's had some hot ass girlfriends. And it's hilarious in the comments on TikTok when people talk about Pete Davidson and how cute he is and how funny he is and girls talk about it. And every comment is from guys, I don't get it. This guy needs therapy. He's skinny and white. Why would anyone like him? And, and, so, and, and girls are just like, guys, don't you get it? Don't you get it? And they're all like, what? We don't get it. It's like, we like funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> guy, girls like a guy with a personality. Um, yeah, he should manifest those. Well. What are we talking about? My SP of eight years got a girl pregnant and I'm, and I'm in a relationship. I did not expect this at all. Okay, so you are in a relationship with this person and they cheated on you and got a girl pregnant and you've been with him for eight years. So... Let me ask you this. If you've been in with him for eight years, why aren't you married yet? Eight years is a long time to be with someone. Now, you don't have to imagine that they're going to get another girl pregnant. You don't even have to imagine they're going to cheat. But you can imagine, I'm not good enough. Why haven't you married me yet? Don't you want me? Aren't I a priority to you? Doesn't this relationship mean enough to you? Why, don't, why haven't you married me yet? It could be a marriage, like feeling not good enough to be married. This relationship isn't what it used to be. He doesn't pay me as much attention as he used to be. I'm not a priority to him anymore. I have to give to him, but he doesn't give as much to me anymore. This relationship isn't as romantic as it used to be. It's not like it was eight years ago. Do you ever have any of those kind of thoughts? Were you abandoned as a child or rejected as a child and made to feel not good enough? It's all those thoughts, darling. It's not, I know you're going to go off and get a girl pregnant. You don't have to think the exact thing for it to happen. Were you, were you abused as a kid and you've got a lot of trust issues and you sneak around and look at his phone and you can't trust him and you've manifested cheating? Tell me, what was your childhood like? And I'll tell you why that happened. Pete Davidson, Mr. Raccoon Eyes. I know he's got weird raccoon eyes. He wears weird clothes, mental health issues. Girls still love him. Yep, Kim got Ariana and now, and now Loz. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that was so funny. And I was like, what, we're going out now? He's like, yep, 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 this is happening. And I was like, oh, I don't really want you, but okay. <laughs> that was the dream. And I was kind of like, oh. I didn't, still didn't want him. It was so funny. Ha ha, Lord's got the hot Pete Davidson. No, I don't. I mean, I do think he's funny. And I didn't get it. When I when I first ended up on Pete Davidson TikTok, like maybe nine months ago, I was like, what is with, the, why is, what's the attraction with this guy? And the more I saw his videos, if he's kind of self-deprecating humour, the more I was a fan. And then I was like, oh, I really like him. And then when Kim got together with him, I was like, I get it, I get it. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, guys, I'm scrolling up. SP confessed he loves me. Oh, Carla, really? <laughs> Can't believe I missed that comment. Oh, that's wonderful, darling. Hi, Siobhan. But if we use idle moment affirming, when do we watch... It videos, JK, just joking. <laughs> a firm while watching TikToks, guys. Watching Offspring, I love Patrick, the character, and I manifest a man that looks exactly like him. Oh, I've never seen that show. Oh. I'm manifesting meeting my SP, and we're going to have a baby together. Watch and see. Yes, do that, Leanne. Do that and get back to us when it happens. How can I go about revising being from a different place? Well, you can imagine you're born in a different place or imagine you're... You grew up in a different kind of culture or go and write a whole new story if you're doing. Also, people, you don't have to hear their voice in any convos. No, it's very hard to hear their voice sometimes. You don't have to do that at all. Um, hang on, guys, going down. I've been working on self-concept and not really focused on SP, living like it's here. I go on with my day. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, darling. That's great. Loz, I got upset with my SP. I saw the one. 
I just found out, okay, so it's Jackie. Tell me what the fuck has been happening in your relationship, what fearful thoughts you've been having that might have caused that. How can you be feeling great, life's good, and then all of a sudden you don't feel great for no reason? Because your old negative thoughts kicked in and took over. Your mind's a motherfucker, guys. Hey, Laws, what's the core wound when I have anxiety that there's people cancel on us? Well, were you abandoned as a child, like a father left or you were adopted or someone died or you fear rejection because you deep down feel not good enough? It's one of those two. Sometimes the birds be annoying, though. Oh, yeah, sometimes they are. Hi, Laws, lots of family pulling from me. How do I get back on my own track? Pulling from you? You mean taking things from you? You're an overgiver. You're a people pleaser and they expect that from you? So change that in you. I don't need to give to get love. People don't take anything from me anymore. People give to me. I love being given things. I love that feeling now. People always give to me. Oh, so empty. I know. <laughs> Affirm it's not his baby. Yes, that's a great idea for you. It's Jackie. Haha, <laughs> Lo's got the hot speed tabs. And oh, I really don't. So funny. <laughs> you think you're Kim K now? Yes. That's so funny. It may happen to Lo Lo's. You may be next. I wouldn't put it past him. <laughs> it's far too young for me. Uh... Hang on, guys. I had to leave my man today and I'm already missing him, but it was not I wasn't getting what I deserve. Help. Well, Sarah, Jesus Christ. Have you been watching me in your whole life and you've gone and left your SP? It's not his fault that he's not giving you what you want. It's because of your thinking and your self-concept that he's not giving you what you want. And you've got a dominant assumption he doesn't give you what he wants. You want, so what are you expecting? Guys, if you're reacting and breaking up with them, please go and watch my videos and understand that's not the thing to do. You've got to accept that you caused a situation you're happy about. It's no point breaking up with them over something you caused. Don't beat yourself up, but darling, that is not what I teach you to do. That's called being a triggered bitch and that no help. My hairdresser messes up my hair last month as well. Oh, honestly, I went in there last time. I said, she's not touching my hair. And they were like, oh, yeah, we know. I was like, no shit. I was like, I've been coming here for 20 years and this bitch fucked my hair up. <laughs> I was like, god damn it. Um, so I just affirm now I get the hair I want. Pete got Beck via yeah, Kate Beckett's oh yeah. Finally had communication with SP. Oh thanks, Crystalina. Finally had communication with SP after months of silence. I love that, darling. Lost my SP told me I'm so obsessed with you. I love that. Hang on, guys, I'm going down. So Jackie, tell me what the fuck you've been thinking during a relationship that would have caused that. Even if you don't know what it what caused it, just tell me what your thinking was. What are the insecure thoughts you've been having during a relationship? No, we broke up weeks later. He got in a relationship and having a baby on the way. Oh, okay. So after eight years, he went and got with someone else. Okay. So did you think during the relationship, why haven't you married me yet? I bet you were. After eight years of being with someone that haven't married you, you'd be thinking, aren't I good enough for you to marry me? Don't you love me enough? You must not love me. Were you thinking that? You don't love me enough. And then he chose chooses someone else because you don't feel chosen by him. So he has no choice but to choose someone else because you feel essentially unchosen. That's why he'll choose someone else because you're in the state of I'm not being chosen by you. I'm not a priority to you. This relationship isn't what it used to be, blah, blah, blah. Pete got Kai Gerber. Did he too? Kai Gerber as well. Cindy Crawford's daughter. Jesus Christ. Plus, every time you answer my questions, the live freezes. Oh, no, Angie. Where's your question? Peter Sweet. Yeah, I think he's a lovely guy. Hi, Loz. Lots of family pulling from me. I saw that one. Is it enough to only visualise once a day before sleep? No. Are you flipping your thoughts all day? Are you changing your negative thinking? Are you on top of your mental diet? Are you thinking new thoughts? Or you just got McDonald's in the brain all day and then you have a lovely imaginal scene? That's like eating McDonald's all day and then eating a nice healthy meal at night. But what are you doing the rest of the day? No. Unless you're in the state all day and you're not having negative thinking, then great. Manifested my ex and his girlfriend to break up and guess what? Oh, Josie! I just think Pete has good, great self-concept. I think he does that self-deprecating thing, but really he's got uber confidence. I think the self-deprecation is part of his shtick and part of his like and the funny clothes and the being goofy, but for him to own that so much, that nerd aesthetic that he's got is really attractive to girls. I've got an old best friend that I grew up with at school and girls just just fawn all over him when we were older. When we were younger, he was a nerd at school. But when we got older and went to uni, girls were just fawning all over him. And it was because he just owned his uniqueness and his weirdness and girls loved it. And we went everywhere and girls would be like, oh, and now he's like semi-famous. And people are like, I love him. He's so hot. And I'm like, and I can't see it. I'm like, what? That guy, but because he owns his weirdness, he owns his differentness and he's skinny like Pete, like, 
and girls just are like, ah, oh, right? My birthday is in three days. How can I get SP to be on his knees begging? What do you need that for, Angie? Why in three days does it have to happen? Why does it have to happen on your birthday? Why does it have to involve begging? Have you gone and changed any of your self-concept issues that caused the breakup and requires you to need begging? Guys, if you need them to beg, I ask you, were you deprived of love as a child and you need someone to prove to you that they love you with begging because you don't feel good enough in yourself and you feel like love doesn't come to you and they have to prove it to you with validation, like things like begging and apologising and pleading? Where's that coming from, Angie? You can imagine that all you like, but you've got to understand, why do I need that? What's that saying about me that I need that? That's where the problem is. Um, Loz, it's always P. He didn't notice me. She didn't notice me. I've been visualizing and trying my best to be confident. Well, don't worry about it, darling. Doesn't matter if she didn't see you. Just imagine she did, and she's been thinking about you ever since. She's been masturbating furiously about you and can't get you off her mind. Imagine that, darling. Regardless of circumstances, I'm not giving up. Good. Well, good. The circumstances you created, so you can change them. And I'm not married because we were together 15 to 23. Okay, so if you were together from the age of 15 to 23, you probably enmeshed yourself completely in a codependent relationship with this person and you don't really know yourself very much. If you got together at 15, have you done that? Do you think you know yourself particularly well, Jackie? Because I would say if you've got in a relationship at 15 with someone, your whole life is enmeshed, your adulthood is enmeshed with that person. So your self-worth is kind of tied up with them. Would you say that might have happened? I'm making a judgment here. I'm not sure. But sometimes that happens when you get with someone very, very early. You don't really know your own issues and know yourself because you is tied up with them. The coupledom of you and him become the you that you know. So you become kind of codependent with them or reliant on them or reliant on them for your validation. Did that happen? I don't know. I'm asking. Um, bad triggering day, but back on my queen shit and also affirming through it, laugh my ass off. Oh, good, Jaden. But also, Jackie, you've been with him all that time since the age of 15. You know him better than anyone. So use affirmations like, I know that guy better than anyone. No one loves him the way I do. No one knows him the way I do. He can't be with anybody but me because no one knows him like me. No one gets him like me. No one understands him like me. They're not me. And just imagine it's just a blip and he's made the wrong choice and he comes back to you because you're the person who knows him. You're his other half. Say those things. And just forget about that bitch. I manifested my ex and his new supplier to break up and I got the, you were right about her call. Oh. Hi, Loz. Lots of family pulling from me. I don't understand that question, darling. What do you mean pulling from you? Loz, are there any books for self-concept you recommend? Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz or anything by Neville. I need to be rich help. Well, if you're in the state of needing to be rich, then you won't be rich anytime soon, darling. Wealthy people don't walk around all day saying, I need more money. I need to be rich. I need it. They're in the state of wealthy already. Are you in the state of wealthy in your mind or in the state of lack? You're in a fucking state of lack in that question. You're writing need and then you're writing help. Telling you manifest from what you are, not what you want. And your want, your need is so strong that you won't be able to be rich because you're not in the state of rich. Wealthy people walk around all day imagining they're rich. They don't imagine they need money or say things like help. Go and watch all my videos on money because you're not quite kind of understanding that. How do you get out of the state of lack? You stop thinking the lack thoughts like I need this. Without it, I'm nothing. Without you, I'm nothing. Without money, I'm nothing. I need help, 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 help. That's the state of lack. I have it already. I have all the money I need. Money comes to me quickly and easily. I am so rich. I'm so wealthy. I love being in a beautiful relationship. He loves me so much. I'm already in the state of coupled up. I'm already in the state of wealthy. I'm already in it. You manifest what you are, not what you need, not what you want. If you need them really badly, need it really badly, it won't be coming anytime soon. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. A firm for money laws and my daughter for a grant for university today. Oh, well, say she's got it already, darling. Hang on, guys. Going up. I accidentally affirmed that he wouldn't be there for me. Don't know how to fix it. Well, change that and affirm the complete opposite and say everyone's there for me. I always get all the attention I crave. People always love spending time for me with me. He always gives me what I need. Don't say it's your fault. Just say... I own that. I broke up with my SP in January. I broke up with him because he wasn't there for me when I, my dad passed. Okay, so you got triggered and you broke up with him. So now change it and say, he's my rock. He's my soft place to land. He's always there for me. Everything's changed now. 
Oh, you didn't get a notification. I'm trying to make some someone jealous. Show lack of self-concept is trying to make someone jealous. Yes, it very much is. Loz, saw my SP's name trending on Twitter. Burst all that? Yes, darling. How to manifest commitment. Well, you want to be in the state of committed to already. You want to imagine they're already committed to you. Not you want it. You are it. I am already committed to you. They are my boyfriend. They are my husband. Um, he is confident. Number one attractive trait. Yes. Pete Davidson is confident in his own weirdness. He's confident in his uniqueness. See how that works? He owns his uniqueness. That's a hugely attractive trait in someone. Um, you look like you're really glowing today, beautiful. Oh, thank you, darling. What's this in five parts, guys? Please don't put five part questions with tiny little sentences do you really think with 235 people here i'm going to find your five part tiny sentences guys please come to youtube tuesday on tuesday on my youtube channel or facebook friday in the facebook group where you can write essays because i cannot read five fucking sentences when there's 235 people here i'm not even going to bother guys sorry um guys stop spamming yeah i'll get to the question Hey, Loz, my SP studies, struggles with his own self-concept and then goes quiet. How can I help him? Well, stop saying that about him. He's so confident now. He doesn't struggle anymore. He's, that mental health issue he had's gone away. He's so, he, he doesn't have any anxiety. He's so confident. He knows what he wants. He gets what he wants now. He's a new man. Stop seeing him that way. You've got to see for the blind man. I put a name on paper and into water in freezer. I forgot why this is done. What will happen? because you've been watching some idiots and that is not the thing to do and you've been watching some law of attraction morons who say to do bullshit like that because they don't understand how manifesting works with their subconscious mind, please stop watching those fucking idiots. It won't do shit. Lois, if my dad was critical and strict and harsh, what would the core wound be? That you feel like you're going to be criticised, you do things wrong, you beat yourself up easily, you probably procrastinate and don't start things because you're always assuming you won't be able to do it right. You will always blame yourself. You'll always over-apologize or fix things or to explain yourself a lot or overgive or people please because you feel I'm not enough as I am because I was always criticized and told I was wrong. So the core wound is I am not enough. What's this weight laws? Do you believe in law of transmission? There's none of these laws of this and law of that. It's simply the law of assumption, right? It's just the law. There aren't these laws. Anyone who's talking about laws, there's some dumb bitch on here who reckons she's a master manifest or a fucking law of assumption, teacher of law of assumption. She had this thing about the methods of law of assumption that Neville teaches are these three laws. He doesn't talk about three laws, you silly bitch. Why are you talking about Neville like you know what he's talking about when there's no such thing as three laws? Thought transmission is how manifesting works. It's not a law. It's simply... The law, which is, states this, I am is what you become, right? You become what you think about, okay? Law of assumption. What you dominantly assume in your subconscious mind will manifest and transmit to others via thought transmission and it reflects back to you from them because no one has any free will in your reality to do anything but reflect your negative uh, or positive thought back to you. That's thought transmission. It's simply how manifesting works. It's not something to believe in. It's what is working right now in your mind, what is working right now in your reality. That's how you created the shitty circumstances you now see in front of you with thought transmission from you to others and them sending it back to you. That's how you recreated your breakup. You transmitted shitty thoughts that caused your breakup. It's not something to believe in. It's what happens. It's how manifestation works. It's not the universe. It's not crystals. It's not putting things in a freezer with a note. It's you doing it. Got it? Please go and watch all my videos in the YouTube, guys. If you're lost, please go to the How to Manifest Properly series and watch it because if you're lost about how this works or is, do I believe in it, it's how manifesting works. Girl, you nailed it. Thanks, Loz. What did I nail, Holly? Hi, my SP asked for a break as there are three other ladies giving him attention, so now he is confused. Well, stop thinking there's three other ladies giving him attention. Stop thinking he gets attention. Stop thinking he's the prize. He's on the pedestal. He's sought after. Everyone wants him. He's a player. He loves the attention. Start saying, um, <laughs> no one gets him but me. I'm the girlfriend. I don't care how many girls are flirting with him. I'm his. He's mine. He only wants me. He only has eyes for me. He's not interested in anyone but me. He's fucking obsessed with me because I'm enough. I'm the prize. I'm the priority. I am the shit. 
but you're not thinking that. So that's why you've generated three women in your reality who are competition with, from, with you for him because you've put him on a pedestal and made yourself feel below him because you feel not enough in yourself and not chosen, so he won't choose you. You have to really work on your self-concept and not feeling chosen. Go and do my I am chosen sleep tape, please, or the I am a priority. Alternate them every night. Do one, one, one night and the one and the other and use those affirmations during the day, darling, because you're simply feeling unchosen, so he can't choose you until you feel chosen. Um, nobody wants him but me. That's a great one. How do you manifest commitment after two years of talking? Well, imagine you're committed to. What have you been thinking this whole time whilst talking? Oh, why isn't he committed to me? Why aren't we boyfriend and girlfriend? Why hasn't this happened? Doesn't he like me? Oh, he mustn't like me. He must be other girls. What were your fearful thoughts? That's why it's happening. Because each time I listen to your sleep affirmations, I get weird dreams. What does this mean? It's your subconscious fighting you, darling. It doesn't like it. It doesn't like changing. It wants to stick to the old ego you. It's no lucky. Don't worry about it. If I affirm manifest for others, does it work better? Should I have someone else affirm for me? No, darling, that's fucking lazy as hell. Please don't. Um, but you can, but you've got an assumption that it works for others quicker than for you, so that'll keep happening until you say it works just as easily for me. Loz, what can things mean when things slow down with my SP? Well, stop saying they're slowing down. They're not slowing down. It's hot for me. It's getting hotter and hotter by the day. He calls me every day. He talks to me every day. Can't go a day without talking to me. What are you laughing about? <laughs> what did I say? Hi, Sarah. Loz, I noticed in my past relationships the communication goes bad. What's the cause of that? Well, you probably feel like they're going to pull away. You feel like they're going to flake. You've got a dominant story that this is what happens in my relationship, so you anticipate it happening and then it happens because you assume it's going to. Um, Loz, I always get your name mixed up and I type unconscious Loz. If I pass it out, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you pass out, I'm sorry. Unconscious. It's not unconscious laws. <laughs> sorry, I forgot to tag you. My SP is from Australia. I'm taking this as personal. Land. Oh, how do I manifest my man when I feel my weight is an issue? Well, if you feel your weight is an issue, you won't be able to, darling, because you think that's the reason why you won't be loved. So go back to your childhood and try and figure out what, who made you feel like your weight is a problem. Were you, did you have critical parents, a mother who told you you were too fat or you had to lose weight or only eat this, don't eat that, you're going to put on weight? Or she was paranoid about her weight or you had an anorexic in your reality or you were abused or something happened where you were made to feel not good enough as you are and so you were going to assume you're not enough as you are now and that's going to stop your relationship from progressing because you feel not enough and so he won't choose you because you feel like you can't be chosen until you are XYZ weight. I am beautiful just the way I am. My body is perfect just the way it is. I was wonderfully made. He loves me just as I am and I love me just as I am. So those please. I had quite a bad dream last night from the sleep tape, but it's a good thing. Guys, a lot of people are getting, I don't want to affirm this, but some people do get bad dreams from the sleep tape. It's your subconscious doesn't like these new thoughts. It'll do everything to make you not think them, okay? Just affirm you don't get the nightmares anymore. Loz, I need help. No harsh help. I need compassion. Well, what's happened, Chastity? What's going on? Tell me what's going on. Hi, OG. Hi, Di. How are you? Guys, if you haven't seen the success story live that we did, it was very impromptu and Di was in it. It was um, it was in my Facebook. It's in my Facebook group under hashtag success stories or hashtag success story live. And there's eight people talking about their self-concept success. It was very impromptu, very last minute. I had no idea what anyone was going to say. It's so uplifting. Go and watch it. I don't know if I'm super tired some days, but sometimes I wake up like I couldn't hear it. Oh, the sleep tape? Yeah, I wake up not hearing it. Struggling, Loz. I don't need cussed. Just need to know someone cares right now. Well, Chassie, what's happened? Well, darling, I do care about you. What's happened, darling? Guys, look, if you're feeling really under the weather, go and watch my lives, boost yourself up, go into the Facebook group and ask questions in the forum and get some support in there as well when you're feeling down, Okay. My SP says he doesn't want to commit but wants me as a side chick. Does he have someone else? Darling, I'm not a psychic, but I'll tell you right now, your feelings are not being good enough and not chosen are causing a third party and causing you to only be the side chick because of your self-concept issues. You can ask a fucking psychic all you like, but if you don't change your issues of I'm not good enough to be the girlfriend, he won't choose you. It was fun. What are we talking about, Dylan? Loz, do you think guys being cocky have everything to do with them and having insecurities? Well, you've got an assumption that guys are cocky, so you're going to keep getting cocky guys in your reality, but it couldn't be, it can be because they're insecure and they're putting on an act, but it also could be they're confident. But you're assuming it's cockiness. Why are you thinking that? Yeah, I wake up to not hearing the tape and slowly it comes to me. Yeah, that's what happens to me. So I can't hear it. I think, is it even on? And then I'll hear it. Not that I've done it for ages. I have to start doing it. 
I'm great. Talked to boyfriend yesterday for the first time in almost two weeks. Him wishing he was here. Oh, wonderful, darling. Had major bursts for landing this weekend. An ex told me my energy is so attractive. Oh, it's so attractive. Love that. I worked on my self-concept, as you said, removed third party, but she works with us and she talks to him. Well, don't worry about it, darling. Just imagine she's not a threat to me. I'm the bitch that he loves. I'm the one. Why would he even talk to her at work? He has no interest in her. She's like a sexy fly to him. She's annoying. What if the SP said, I'm not putting in enough effort into the relationship where you've got a belief that you don't do enough, that you're not enough, that you do things wrong, and so he's going to reflect that back? It doesn't matter what they say. Loz, what can I say then to ensure communication is always amazing in my relationships? We always have such great communication. We finish each other's sentences. We always understand each other. He's always calling and texting me. We need each other every day. We talk to each other every day. I'm his rock. I'm his soft place to learn. So things like that. Um, I'm hiding in the bathroom at work to catch you live. <laughs> what else can I do to improve self-concept other than affirmations and sleep tapes? You can have visualizations, you can revise, you can write letters to the people who wronged you in your life, all those things. We finish each other's sentences reminds me of Frozen. Oh, I've never even seen Frozen. It's busy here today. Oh, is it Sarah? All right, guys, I'm going to go soon because I've been here forever. I know there's 244 people here, but I can't sit here all day. True, every time I'm feeling down, I watch your lives. Oh, good, guys. Yeah, give yourself a boost with that, guys. And go in the Facebook group and get encouragement from the Q&A forum and read the success stories. And go and watch the success story live, Chastity. It will help you. Hey, Loz, what do you think about no contact when two people are on a break? If you're in no contact already, stay in it. But if you're going no contact while you're already together, then no. But if you're already on the break, yeah, then stay no contact. What the fuck do you need to contact them for? Unless you're in the state of absolute confidence, don't, I wouldn't contact them. This TikTok has blown up since last time I joined the lives. Whoa, ha. Oh, really, Sarah? Yeah. 244 people. Subconscious mind isn't used to those thoughts. Yes. Yep. Aha, no harsh help. <laughs> go, Lois, go, Lois. What am I saying? I have an attachment issue. I want him back without this feeling guilty and not, no, not correspondence. I don't really understand that, darling. Well, stop saying you've got an attachment issue. Manifest that away. Say, I don't have attachment issues. Who said that? I listened to some dumb psychologist told me that I don't have that issue. Or when I give up. Sorry, what's this? Loz, I need help, not harsh help. Okay, Chassie, but tell me what's wrong. Not giving. Oh, thank you, darling, for all the roses. Thanks, guys. Do I make my own sleep tapes or would yours work? You make your own, guys, absolutely, with your own self-concept affirmations. You can't catch my comments, so many people. What's this? Oh. Well, Chassie, go and write the question in the Facebook group in the Q&A forum. People can, uh, can help you, darling. Or come on Facebook Friday and write a big long, put it in your notes and just copy and paste it on Facebook Friday. 9 p.m. EST or it will be 8 p.m. Australian time, um, 9 a.m. UK time on Fridays in the Facebook group. Been working 100% self-concept. Then when I try to affirm for SP, I get stumped, old story or don't want him. Maybe you don't want him anymore, Marie. Could be. You've leveled up so much. You've been working on that self-concept. Uh... I got you, thank you. Yeah, Chastity, come to the Facebook Live on Friday, okay? How to join the Facebook. Go to my link in my bio now, guys. There's now a link tree that's got the Facebook group and my YouTube, so join both. I keep forgetting to do that, and I was just having um, one link at a time, but it's much better doing that. I'll see you on Facebook tomorrow how I'm going to go try and sleep now. Yes, do, darling. I'm just struggling, and you have always been there. Well, Chastity, listen, stop saying you're struggling. Go and work on your affirmations. Go and work on your self-concept. Stop saying you're struggling. I know how to do this. I know how to fix this. I've fixed this before. Loz has told me what to do. I've had the call with her. I know what to do. I know what self-concept affirmations do. I'm just going to ramp them up now. I'm going to go hardcore on these. I'm not going to let my negative thinking take over. I run this shit. Really go hardcore on it, darling. Really? Rampage. Self-concept rampage. I'm in the UK and always start for your lives. Oh, no, guys. There's one later. Although I'm not doing one later today because I'll be out. SP and I don't talk. I see him Friday. How do I get him to talk to me? Well, just say he's always talking to me. He's dying to talk to me. Say those things, darling. All right, guys, I'm going to go because I've been here forever. Is self-concept the most important part to manifesting an SP? Yes, darling, because they're simply reflecting you. So if you don't change you, they'll come back and not stay because you haven't changed. Everyone is reflecting your dominant thinking about yourself. If you feel unloved, they won't love you. If you feel unchosen, they won't choose you. Mm -hmm. That's how you created the breakup in the first place or being single a lot in the first place or manifesting bad relationships in the first place okay all right guys when is your tiktok live so today i'm normally live about 9 a.m uk 
um, 8 p.m. Australian time, but I won't be live today because I'm, I'm going to be out. Normally, it's about 9 p.m. or 8 p.m. EST for Americans around this time, okay? And then Tuesday is YouTube Tuesday around that time, 9 p.m. EST, and then Facebook Friday on Fridays in the Facebook group. So come and join the Facebook group and the YouTube guys in my um, – TikTok bio, there's a link. Okay, you can go and watch the success stories in the Facebook group. You can ask your questions in the Q&A forum. Make sure you only put them in the forum, not on the main page. Answer the questions when you want to join. So I know you're not a spammer. I declined 14 requests today to join the group because no one had answered the questions. Okay, and come and watch the success story live. Read the success stories on the main page. It's really encouraging in there. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you soon. Bye, y'all.